Welcome back to The Lead. The president said it himself, getting Congress to back him on action in Syria will not be easy. I knew this was going to be a heavy lift. Uh, I said that on Saturday when I said we're going to take it to Congress. A heavy lift. Well, lift with your knees, Mr. President, because with each passing day, that lift is looking more and more hernia-inducing. CNN Chief Congressional Correspondent Dana Bash joins me from Capitol Hill. Dana, by CNN's latest count, there are only 24 yes votes in the Senate right now. 60 are needed. And 24 yes votes in the House. 218 are needed. Which way is the momentum going? You know, at this point today, the this, this sort of the feel, uh, the smell, the taste here on Capitol Hill is definitely that the momentum is going away from the president. Uh, talking to so many lawmakers coming out of these classified briefings all week long, many of them go to two, three, four of them. Uh, it, the sense is that they're not getting, many of them, maybe even most of them, who are still undecided, they are so because they're not getting the answers they're looking for, specifically with regard to what exactly the U.S broad strategy is in Syria, and then more specifically, the military strategy. And obviously, those are very much related. Uh, so definitely, the, the, the feel is, more, even especially in the House, maybe less so in the Senate, but especially in the House, a lot of minds that need to be changed and solidified. One piece of good news, uh, potential good news I can report to you, which is just uh, coming to us from outside of the latest briefing, and that is uh, Democratic Senator Al Franken, who, by the way, almost never talks to reporters in the hallway, just broke that rule. And he said after attending personally 12 hours of classified briefings, he is now leaning yes. So that is a piece of good news for the, for the president, despite the overwhelming feeling that it's going the other way, at least today. And, Dana, we know that congressmen are getting an earful from the voters on this uh, just from Twitter. Arkansas Congressman Rick Crawford tweeted, Thanks for your feedback on Syria. In past week, over 99 percent of my calls to my office were opposed to action. You spoke, I listened. Congressman Jason Chaffetz. Hundreds of calls to our Provo and D.C. office so far, not a single call in favor of bombing Syria. Are members of Congress hearing anyone supporting an act against Syria? When it comes to their constituents, I mean, I have not heard anybody say that they are hearing positive things, even those who have already completely made up their mind, like Dianne Feinstein of California. She says, point blank, my people are calling overwhelmingly negative from California, but, you know, they don't know what I know. Uh, so there's, there's no question that public opinion is very much against this. And the concern, even from some Republicans that I'm talking to who are undecided and uh, might be inclined to vote with the president, is that the fact that he's giving this primetime address on Tuesday is too little too late. That that is, you know, not going to give him and his constituents enough time to digest whatever points he's going to make and allow them to take a yes vote with uh, with good conscience. Even those who might be willing to defy their constituents are worried about that. All right, Dana Batch on Capitol Hill. Thank you.